Hello, and welcome to CMMI Tech Talk. In this video, we're gonna walk you through how to use the CMMI Model Viewer. We will go over how to navigate the Model Viewer and provide you with some helpful tips while using it. The current Model Viewer was updated with the newest release of CMMI Model and is a duplication of the model in HTML format. It utilizes web capabilities to jump from place to place in the model, and users can filter areas to find exactly what they need. Instead of searching page by page in the PDF version of the model, you can jump to the exact section that you are looking for. Let's start by logging into the Model Viewer. To gain access to the Model Viewer, you must purchase a CMMI Annual Online Model License or enroll in the CMMI Associates course. Purchasing the CMMI Annual Online Model License will give you a one-year license that includes unlimited access to the Model Viewer tool, downloadable PDF versions of the model, and all content updates and additions. Now, if you enroll in the CMMI Associates course, you will have a 30-day access session to the Model Viewer while you are taking the course. Begin by logging into the CMMI website at cmmiinstitute.com and you are now on the CMMI dashboard. On the left-hand navigational pane, scroll down to see the Supplemental Materials section in the white box and click Explore the Model to open the Model Viewer. Now, once the Model Viewer is open, you can download both versions of the model. Click the Download Model buttons to download the previous or current version of the model you prefer. A full PDF copy of the model will download. While you can download a previous version of the model, the online model viewer will only reflect the current version of the CMMI model. The top menu of the model viewer allows you to search the model, navigate to your CMMI dashboard, view instructions, enter help tickets, and log out of the CMMI website. Click Search. A box will appear and will allow you to search anything within the overview, appendices, and CMMI model. Your search will need to be specific to populate results. One note to remember during your search is that you will only search the CMMI model based on the model view, level, and context you have selected. You need to select all in the model view dropdown and click apply to search the entire CMMI model. Next is dashboard. If you click dashboard, it will take you directly back to the CMMI dashboard where we began. Click instructions. This opens a new window and allows you to view the user guide for the model viewer. This guide gives basic instructions on navigating the model and is a helpful tool as you navigate the model viewer. Close this window to get back to the model viewer. The help option will take you to the ISACA support page and allows you to review FAQs on some common questions, submit a ticket if something is not working for you, as well as some other areas for you to research if you have any questions with the model viewer. Lastly, if you click log out, it will log you out of the model viewer. Now that we know how to navigate the top menus, we can explore the model viewer. The model viewer is designed to find specific practice areas and practices related to the type of maturity or capability level users want to view. There are three filters to select options from, model view, level, and context. The model viewer can take your selections and produce pre-configured views of the model. The most important tip while navigating the model viewer is to always click apply once you select the filter from the drop-down menus in each section. If you do not click apply, the filter will not populate the selections made from the drop-down menus. You can click apply after each drop-down menu selected or wait until you have all three filters selected. Click the model view drop-down menu. This menu reveals the maturity level domains, the capability level views, and medical devices discovery appraisal program or MDAP options. By choosing one of these areas, the model viewer will populate the different practice areas within that view once you click apply. The CMMI model is split into two sections, which are maturity level and capability level. From the drop-down menu, starting with data down to virtual, those are the maturity level domains. Beginning with delivering and managing services to sustaining habit and persistence, those are capability level views. MDAP is the last option, but will have specific content related in the model viewer. For example, select data from the model view drop-down menu. As mentioned previously, nothing will happen until you click apply. Now, click apply. 
the related practice areas will now populate. An added feature with the new model release is having the All option, which will populate all views in level 5. Once you choose your desired model view, you can select which level of the model to view. Click the Level drop-down menu. This menu will vary depending on whether you choose a maturity or capability level view. For maturity level domains, you can choose any level from 1 to 5. For capability level views, the levels will range from 1 to 3. When you select a level and click Apply, you will see all levels up to and including the level chosen. For example, if you select the model view for data in Maturity Level 5, you will see practice information from Level 1 to 5. If you pick Level 3, you will only see practice information from Levels 1 to 3. The last section that you can configure is the Context Filter. Click the Context drop-down menu. This section is specific notes for the practice areas and practices applicable to the selections from the drop-down menu. Context-specific information is provided to some, but not all, sections. You can navigate to see specific context-related areas, or you can choose All and click Apply. Selecting All displays all available context-specific information based on the model view and level. You can also choose None so no context-specific information is displayed. The filters you applied earlier will populate specific practice areas and practices for your selections. You can click the Practice Area title and review the information, or click the folder next to the practice area to expand into the specific practices. Select Data from the Model View drop-down menu in Level 5 and leave the Context drop-down on All. Remember to click Apply. This populates all 17 core practice areas and the practice areas related to data. Data quality and data management only populate for data selection and will not populate for any other maturity level views. The core practice areas and specific related practice areas will populate for all maturity level views. For capability level views, only the practice areas that relate specifically to the selected view will populate. Keeping our previous selections, click Causal Analysis and Resolution. You can see the intent and value of the practice area and any additional required PA information, explanatory PA information, practice summary table, additional PA explanatory information, related practice areas, and context-specific information. Now click the folder next to Causal Analysis and Resolution. This will expand your practice area into the practices within. Click CAR 1.1. You can see the required practice information, the practice intent statement, value statement, additional required information, if any, and then additional explanatory information as well as example activities and example work products. Each practice for each practice area is unique and provides additional information. The remaining sections of the Model Viewer contain informative material that you can use to understand each part of the CMMI model. This menu, located below the three main filters, contains the Overview, Appendices, Glossary, and Release Notes. We can begin with the Overview. Click Overview. Now this opens in a new tab. As you can see, the overview is divided into four parts and explains the purpose and objectives of the CMMI model. Users can use this section to better understand how the model works. Close this tab, and now we are back to the model viewer. Now, let's click Appendix. The appendix gives detailed and specific information on how the model is broken down. It is separated into sections called appendices to better understand how to use each part of the model. If you have any issues using the model, refer to the appendix for help. The appendices are Appendix A, Core Practice Areas, Categories, and Capability Areas. Appendix B, Predefined Model Views, Maturity and Capability Levels. Appendix A and B can really help in understanding practice areas, practices, and view of the CMMI model. Remember, you can always reference your appendices while navigating the model viewer. Appendix C, CMMI Adoption and Transition Resources. Appendix D, Common Myths and Misperceptions. Appendix E, Glossary. Appendix F, 
abbreviations. Appendix G, CMMI Development History. Appendix H, References. Appendix I, Acknowledgements. Next, click Glossary. This opens a new window. The glossary defines words in the CMMI Performance Solutions ecosystem with special meaning. When applicable, that term is included in the glossary. Otherwise, the common English meaning of words, for example, from the Webster or Oxford Dictionary, applies. You can scroll down through the terms in alphabetical order or search in the box provided on the left. The glossary can also be found in the appendices. Close this window to get back to the model viewer. Lastly, Release notes are available for you to review. Click Release Notes. A new window will take you to the section of the CMMI website that has all the changes made for each release of the model viewer. You're also provided a link to view CMMI model content release notes. Refer to both sets of release notes to determine the version of the model viewer currently reflected on the CMMI website. Thank you for watching this CMMI Tech Talk on how to use the CMMI model viewer. If you want more information on views, levels, and CMMI performance solutions architecture, please refer to the overview or appendices area of the CMMI model or model viewer. And if you have any other questions, please visit us at support.isaka.org for further assistance to view FAQs or to submit improvement suggestions.